friends, this is Callie. Thanks so much for joining me today for a fun swish and pop card using the On the Beach set by Lawn Fawn. It's hard to believe, but summer is on its way already. We were just wishing that winter would leave and now it's going to get warm. So I've created a fun beach scene here for you showing this bear and his fox friend kicking that beach ball back and forth. So we'll start off here by coloring our images. I've got all of my images stamped and I'm just going to quickly speed through the coloring since that's fairly straightforward. At least for me, I feel like I do the same thing on every card. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the darkest shade first and then blend that out with the medium, going over the dark areas at least halfway or if not saturating all the way through to the very fine nooks and crannies of every area. All right, so once I have that fox done, I'm going to color his face and his tail, and I'm gonna use a lighter brown. And if you want a full list of all the colors, be sure to check out the blog post for this video. All right, I'm gonna speed through the rest. I'm doing the same thing, again, laying down the dark first, going over it with the medium shade, and then blending with the lighter shade, and even a lighter shade if needed, and going back in with a in-between shade if more blending is required. So these rainbows are super fun. Again, all the colors will be listed on the blog post specifically for you. I'm gonna go ahead and color these stripes really quickly using reds and blues for the towels, and then I'll die cut all of the pieces. They are super fun and colorful, and while my scene isn't jam-packed with lots of images, it's still fun to see these pops of colors on the beach scene. Next up, we're going to be working on our beach background scene. So I'm using the Slimline Simple Stitched Hillside Borders, using that to die cut that beach portion using some vanilla malt cardstock. I'm going to ink blend with antique linen first, and then with gathered twigs to create the darker shading at the top. And now I have a piece of Moonstone cardstock that I die cut using the Slimline Stitched Hillside Borders. I just wanted a few waves in the background, so I am ink blending that with Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink. I've also watered that ink down a little bit in my lid and then splattered it on the water panel for some texture. Now for texture on the beach, I am using the Copic markers that I used on my bear for the image earlier, and I am just dotting that randomly all over the top of that vanilla malt cardstock to create that beach texture. Once I'm done with that, we just need to work on our sky, so I am ink blending this panel using some Mermaid Lagoon. I've sprayed that with some water, again for some texture, and then doing the splattering again using a little bit of water in my lid where there is some ink left over from my Distress Oxide ink. I wanted a stitched border, so I'm using the small slimline with lift flaps set, and I'm gonna use this small rectangle to die cut all of my pieces so they're stitching all the way around. Okay, so once that background is done, we can start working on our interactive mechanism. I've got this pull or swish mechanism here that I've die cut in acetate, our little pull tab indicator, and then we have this little L piece which is gonna cut holes into our water panel and be the anchor for our mechanism. So this is super easy, you just wanna line up that right side and butt that L portion up to the end of the cardstock and you want it to butt up to the bottom of the cardstock too because it's gonna tell you how far to go up to make sure that that mechanism doesn't stick out at the bottom of your card when the swish and pull mechanism is in action. Okay, so now we need two brads. I'm just gonna pull some out here and <laughs> made a mess. I've also die cut the pull tab out of white cardstock. So that very first brad is gonna connect the pull tab to the swish and pull acetate mechanism. So we've got the pull tab in our left hand and then that swish and pop acetate mechanism in our left hand and we're just gonna join them with that further dot on the acetate. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Now that second brad is what's gonna join that center hole now on the acetate to the blue portion of our waves. And I realized at this point that I really need another hole, and that's super easy to do. You just take that L bracket again, and then line up a few holes on the right there, and it will just kind of fit itself into the holes that are already there, and then you run it through the die cutting machine again, and I gave myself two more holes to work with. And the one that I'm gonna be using is the one on the left, second in from the left. So I'll go ahead and put that in there and secure it in place. Now you've got your pull mechanism 
and that swish mechanism will just swish back and forth at the top. I'm going to go ahead and attach my beach ball now to make sure that I can create stoppers for where I want that swish to swing back and forth to and from. And to create those little stoppers, we're just going to use some foam adhesive and we'll put them in place once we know where we want it to start and stop. Now that we have those start and stoppers in place, I'm gonna work on my pull tab. I'm just gonna tape it in place, making sure that it lines up evenly at the bottom. And then I got this die from the Swish and Pop pull tab die set, and it's gonna cut out that little notch on the top layer of our card, and you just line it up with the tabs. There are two little carrots that indicate where they should be lined up, makes it super easy, and then I'll die cut that piece. And then we'll trim off that pull tab since we know that's where it's going to start. And then I can attach my little pull tab indicator that I die cut earlier using vanilla malt cardstock. I did ink blend it a little bit with the leftover residual brown ink that I used to ink blend my sand panel. And we'll just add some adhesive and add that to the end of that pull tab. So that is almost the end. We just need to adhere those two panels together. And now make sure when you go to add your foam adhesive to give that mechanism lots of space to move, be sure to not add foam tape where it would hinder that swing action on that mechanism. So that's why I kind of have little pieces of foam tape in various areas so that it doesn't hinder the mechanism at all. All right, so that is put together, and I'm gonna go ahead and trim that acetate off the end there. I just wanted to make sure there was plenty of room for my ball to go back and forth between the two characters. And so we can trim off that acetate and then create our scene. I've already laid out all of my images where I want them, and now I'm just gonna adhere them in place. Since there's foam tape on the waves and on the beach portion, I just made sure to double up on the foam adhesive on my umbrella since that's the only thing extending above the beach horizon line. And then now I'm going to prepare my sentiment strip. I'm just going to emboss that over black cardstock using white embossing powder. I'm going to stamp that and make sure everything is lined up. And then I will heat set it and trim it off camera and attach it to my beach scene there. I left some space at the very bottom of my card. I'm using my trusty T ruler to make sure that my sentiment strip is straight. And then I'll add adhesive to the back of my scene here and attach it to a prepared card base. And then last but not least, I like to add some gel highlights to the very end to make sure that it doesn't smear or anything when I do that right after coloring. And that finishes my card for today. I really hope you enjoyed this fun swish and pop on the beach scene. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. I've got two more videos to share with you if you're interested in seeing more. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. Bye everyone.